Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Becca. I'm an online reseller. I sell on eBay, I sell on Etsy, and I sell a little bit on Amazon. As most of you know, I haven't been doing any videos lately. My sales haven't really been uh, video worthy. Um, some days I'll have a couple of sales and then I will go two or three days without any sales. In this household, there are four adults working. Three of them work for a marquee company, putting up marquees for weddings, parties, proms, graduations and festivals. With the current climate, that's not going to happen this year, so most of the income into this house has stopped everyone is self-employed now I produce a little bit of money from my online sales and I also have a cleaning job which is a self-employed position um, at a caravan park with a restaurant and bar TV and games rooms shower blocks a b and b and four holiday cottages they're going to close this weekend. The restaurant has already been closed for a couple of weeks. The B&B &B wasn't open. Uh, the first set of people were due to come in this weekend, ready for Easter weekend. The caravan site only opened a couple of weeks ago um, and is closing. So my cleaning work has also stopped. For those of you out there panicking about your money, I applied for a packing job at Morrison's on Friday. I had a telephone job interview on Saturday. Today is Tuesday at 11 o'clock now and at 12 o'clock I've got an induction to start work. So as my partner, my eldest son is going to apply to the same Morrison's as well. So this summer I'm going to be working at Morrison's stacking shelves. I'm going to keep my eBay shop open. I'm going to extend the dispatch times on it. But there's a lot of stock and it's just not selling and then I keep getting orders and then people can't cancel them. So money can't be relied on from eBay. It, it just can't. I do have a massive death pile and I will get it on because the times I'm not going to be working, I'm not going to be able to go out anywhere. It's the new normal. Um, but I thought I'd do this video as a bit of an update to show you, while well, there's a lot, lot of people in the country now um, moving and having to work at home, I've always worked at home and I'm now going to go out and work for an employer going to become an employee for the first time in quite a few years, quite a number of years. Um, so like I said, my, my induction's in about an hour. I might give you an update on how that goes. Um, my videos may now consist of what's it like working as a sh shelf stacker or picker and packer or on the tills whatever we get told to do, um, they seem pretty desperate, I've never really had a job interview like it, it was, they wanted our name, our national insurance number, our date of birth, and our bank details, and we as good as got the job. So we're going for the induction in a bit, and I I don't think I'll end this video here, I'll, I'll give you an update on, on how that went. Okay, so I had the induction. It was four hours long. We had uh, a bit of time watching a video and being told all the different regulations. And then we were shown around the store, which was really, really empty. And then we were given about two hours till training, um, which we're not going to be doing. We're going to be doing the picking and packing for the delivery drivers. The store we're working for isn't normally a home delivery uh, store, um, but they're having to rush through um, being able to do home delivery. So mine and my partner's job is going to be to pack the 
orders ready for the delivery drivers to take out um, we've got to go to the main store which is about 30 miles away on Saturday and Sunday to do training there and then we have to go back to our local store to do some training on the computer and then we will be ready to go they're hoping to get it all set in place to be a delivery store by the 5th of April so we should have work from the 5th and 8th of April they can only offer us 16 hours each um, but there is the potential of overtime so um, there will be some work not as soon as I expected but she did say they might call us in to do some work um, in the next in the next week if, if anything pops up because uh, they have a lot of staff shortages um, I actually had I had quite a few um, uh, orders come through on eBay so I might do a sales video tomorrow there's only a few um, I've got nothing to do for the next three days now so I'll probably get some listing done and and get get the orders packed that have that have come through they're not massive um, but there has been a few okay so I'll try and keep you updated with with how it's going oh um we also got a t-shirt they can't supply us with any other uniform because they haven't got any We've got to find some black trousers some black shoes uh, we haven't been given a jumper so I don't know what I'm supposed to wear there um, and we've been given a locker key and an ID card which we have to use as a name card because they haven't got any name cards this has obviously been rushed through they wasn't the lady said she usually has 14 weeks to um, train people up in the job that we've we're going to be doing and uh, she's got to do it in two so it's all a bit rushed through but at least we've got work coming okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video